Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a girl talk video. I haven't sat down in front of the camera and just chit chatted with you guys in a really long time. So I decided to just do a girl talk. A couple days ago I asked you guys to send me in some questions that I could answer for this girl talk or anything that you wanted to discuss. So you guys sent in some really good ones. I'm really excited to share them with you. Um, I'm also just getting ready for work. My hair is a little bit damp still and I need to put my face on for work. So I'm going to be doing like a get ready with me chit chat girl talk video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which will be linked down below in the description box. And let's just get into the video. I'm going to have all the products I'm using linked down below in the description box. I'm not going to like discuss every single one because I've talked about them all here before but I will have everything down below okay so I have all the questions here on my phone I screenshot them off my Instagram but the first question is what is a hair removal method that you are following so I really like this question because I'm a hairy girl and I always have been and I definitely always will be and I know that that's a problem that a lot of girl's face and it's kind of like a pain in the ass honestly I have always shaved everything like everything everything I shave everything um, underarms, bikini line, legs, stomach, like all the whole everything I shave. The only thing I don't touch are my actual like arms, which I get roasted for online all the time. But honestly, like I just don't have the energy. Like I already put so much time into like shaving everything else that just like let me have my arm hair, okay? Like I don't care that much about it anyway. I have tried waxing like my legs and my underarms and stuff and it just honestly... I don't have the patience to wait for it to like grow back so I can wax it again. Like I literally hate having stubble and like waiting for hair to grow back. So I'd rather just like shave every time I shower. So like I shower every day. So I'd rather just like alternate how like which body part I'm shaving each day. If you guys want to see like a shave routine, I can definitely do that for you and just kind of show you guys the products I use, how I keep everything like smooth and razor bump free and all that on my face i'm super hairy as well so i have to wax my upper lip and i do that at home i have like a wax kit at home and then i get my eyebrows threaded about every two weeks or so so yeah that's kind of what i do i just like i said i hate waiting for hair to grow back it's just really annoying and i hate like i just hate it so i just shave everything it's the easiest and it's the least painful i'm really looking into laser i really want to get myself laser for my birthday at least for my upper lip and my stomach because those are the two places that bother me the most. Everything else is pretty manageable, but those two just like really irritate me and like if I forget or if I don't have the time to deal with it, like it just really bothers me, so. Okay, the next question I got is what are some good ways that you cope with stress and any advice for when you're feeling unmotivated? Okay, I'm not good at coping with stress at all. I'm a very, very highly stressed person, like I'm I have a lot of anxiety. It's something that I've been really trying to work on though because it's just like not adaptive anymore. Like it's not good stress. It's like everything just gives me like anxiety. Everything freaks me out. Um, especially when it comes to school and like work. When I feel really stressed, I like to just try to take some time to myself and just take a minute to like step away from whatever I'm doing that's freaking me out. And I always like call my boyfriend because he's really good at making me feel better and just being like, you know what like it's not that big of a deal like in a couple days like this isn't even gonna matter so like why are you giving it so much attention blah blah and honestly if i'm like worried about an assignment or something the best thing i can do is just do the freaking assignment i'm bad at procrastinating too and i'll get like really anxious about all the things i have to do but then i like put them off so if i just do the assignment or do whatever it is that i'm kind of avoiding doing then i feel a lot better when i'm feeling unmotivated which happens quite often especially in school because sometimes i just feel like no matter what i do I'm always like behind or like I'm always it almost feels like I'm just running on a treadmill you know especially when I have so much school left it just it can be really discouraging so what I find really helps is keeping a journal and it's kind of hard to get into the habit but once you start doing it it's like really really just it makes me feel better even with my stress management I'm able to just kind of see my problems on paper and then they don't seem so like unmanageable but when I'm feeling unmotivated I like to look back on like previous journal entries and see like what my goals were at the time and like see how far I've come since the last time or what I did the last time I was going through like a rough patch with like stress and all that and it just I don't know it just really motivates me to get my shit together because I'm like well if I've done it once I can do it again so and I just try to talk to someone about it honestly that's like the best advice I can give like talk to your friend talk to a parent talk to your significant other whoever um, just to kind of get your feelings out and get a little bit of support because that's 
honestly the most important thing you can have is like a good support system but yeah that's what i do when i'm freaked out okay so quite a lot of you ask about body image either how do you get confident how do you maintain body image how do you like get over feeling bad about yourself etc etc so this is i don't know i feel like this is something everyone deals with at some point in their life like not everybody is confident all the time which is totally normal like i I don't think anybody is so when I'm feeling like really shitty about myself the first thing I like to do is go on social media and just unfollow everyone that kind of makes me feel bad or that I find myself comparing myself to or everyone's been there but honestly unfollowing these people is so helpful I've followed and unfollowed the same like six people a hundred times already because some weeks I just honestly can't handle like looking at other people because I just feel horrible and then I'll follow them back for like inspo and I love their feeds or whatever the case may be and then you know a few weeks later you feel like shit again and then you just unfollow and it's sometimes you need that like separation because I'm telling you guys what you see on Instagram is not real life and I know everyone says that but like for real it's not real life even if you don't edit your photos even if you don't facetune anything like that like regardless when people post on instagram they're posting like what they like their best you know what i mean so they looked really good that day their makeup turned out awesome their hair looked great like they were feeling not bloated that day but like you don't see what they look like behind the scenes and i tried to start thinking about my body image like less about how i look and more about how i'm feeling because i feel like everyone especially in terms of like fitness and following fitness accounts and stuff we forget to like love our bodies and love ourselves like throughout the process so you're always thinking like when i lose 10 pounds i'll be happier i'll like myself better if i look this way when i get abs i'll like myself better when my ass looks great i'll like myself better but like what about yourself in the process like you can't get to a healthy mindset and a healthy body state if you're like shitting on yourself the entire way through like it, it's just not healthy i think that part of body positivity and like feeling good about yourself is caring about yourself enough to change unhealthy habits whether that be unhealthy eating habits or unhealthy coping mechanisms or unhealthy self-talk those are all things that we need to change to get better and it's not always just about the outside with body image so i feel like the outside comes along with the inside if that all makes sense this one kind of goes hand in hand but this question is how to stop being afraid of taking risks and get over the fear of failure this is really common i'm assuming like everyone's scared of failing or like wasting time messing up or whatever but i kind of try to think of it like if you don't try then you kind of failed already like you didn't even give yourself the chance to do it like i said earlier i'm a very high stress person so i'm kind of that person that's always like what could go wrong you know what i mean like i always go to like the worst case scenario in my head and I'll, sometimes i feel like that'll hold me back with some things because i just in my brain like the cost is not worth like whatever it is i'm trying to do so like the the risk of like the failure isn't worth like whatever it is that i'm trying to do and i'm really trying to let go of that mindset because it's so stupid and it literally holds you back from doing so many fun things or just trying new things like there's so many things that you don't know you're going to be good at or that you're going to enjoy until you've tried it i mean take baby steps but that's my advice like just honestly push yourself out of your comfort zone this is what i'm looking like so far honestly last question because i need to go to work <laughs> somebody asked how do you deal with jealousy in a relationship um i've talked about shitty relationships in the past i feel like you can't talk about it enough if you're in a relationship where your partner is super jealous super controlling of you very like possessive get out of that really like literally just get out of the relationship it's not worth it if you're with someone who doesn't trust you if you're with someone who's constantly accusing you of cheating and talking to other people it's not gonna work like especially if they're already doing that early on in the relationship the longer you're together the more like it's just gonna build up like there's nothing you can do to um fix that in someone if someone's having that many issues like with insecurity and trust and like that's beyond like you can't fix that and that's not to say that they're a bad person i mean like people have issues like people go through things so that just means that they need to take the time to work on themselves before getting into a serious relationship and i'm sure there's like degrees of jealousy like there's normal jealousy when you're like in high school and you see your boyfriend talking to some other girl and you get jealous but even then like i feel like if you're if it's really jealousy that's kind of a sign of immaturity if your partner is making you feel jealous or making you feel like you can't trust them then that's another sign that maybe you shouldn't be together or that's something that you need to figure out within yourself so if your partner is doing things that 
um, cross boundaries that you've already laid out or doing things that are making you uncomfortable you need to have a talk with that person and if you've already had this conversation multiple times and they're not respecting your um, your boundaries and your requests and maybe you need to consider if this relationship is really worth your time a relationship should be mutually respectful and trustworthy if you don't have trust if you don't have communication it's gonna be a rough time and it's not gonna be very fun so i'm just gonna really quickly line my lips and put on some lip balm The lip balm that I use is this um, Create 61 Organics. This is a Canadian maple flavor or scent or whatever. And this one is made in Canada. This is my favorite lip balm ever. Like it's the only one I've used in a really long time. Lately, I've really been wanting to try more natural makeup. Like natural, non-toxic makeup. So foundations, all of that, concealer, the whole nine yards. Um, I'm trying to finish up what I have now. And then I don't want to repurchase the things I have now. Um, I've already run out of concealer, so I'm kind of just like dealing with my foundation for now, which I'm almost out of anyways. But if you guys know any natural beauty brands or clean beauty brands, please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and what your favorite product is from them. And maybe I can try a bunch out and do like a video for you guys on like my first impressions or something if you'd be interested. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye.